Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for April 2022, Aries Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers. So I pre-pulled you two cards from the Angel Answers Oracle, and you received Let Go and then No Need to Worry. All right, so you now have this card from the Mindful Messages, and it says Guidance System. I love using my emotions as a guidance system. They show me how close or far away I am from what I want. When I'm feeling joy in doing the things that I love, I am in a state of allowing for my desires. I notice when I'm feeling low vibrational thoughts and I shift them to release resistance. So that is a really, really great card, Aries, and I feel like it goes really well with these two angel cards, no need to worry and let go. So really beautiful guidance. All right, so I'm going to pull one card for the main guidance and then three for the situation. Main guidance for Aries, please, for April. And happy birthday. I hope that you guys had a wonderful birthday, whether you were in March or April. All right, so we have these two beautiful night cards that flipped over. So Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. This is a really nice combination. So you may be working towards a specific goal, something that is very close to your heart with the Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles is a slower moving energy. So I feel like there's a lot of success in what you are doing or working towards, but this is like a divine timing thing. All right, three for the situation. It can represent a really great offer. So yeah, four of pentacles, whatever resistance is here, whatever you've been holding on to, there's definitely a message of letting go and releasing, especially mentally, releasing fear. And four of pentacles is whatever you've been holding on to, and it can be limiting beliefs or certain emotions that aren't serving you and impeding your progress. So the magician, and that wanted to come up before, but I just wanted to keep shuffling and it came out again. So that's how you know it's meant to be. So the magician, wow. So this reminds me a bit of Aquarius's reading. And with the magician, the message here is total confidence in yourself. Now you can manifest all of your desires as above, so below. Speak it into existence. You have all the tools available to you, pentacles, cups, swords, wands, but you just have to believe it. But the magician is about everyday habits, thoughts, and patterns and creating your reality. So really, really important. I'm loving this, this, um, this reading. I feel like this same message is coming up for a lot of people. So April really is a time of manifestation. All planets are direct until Pluto retrograde April 29th. So it is a really great time to just release the extra baggage and prune out the old and allow this new to come in. So I want to clarify the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, please, for Aries. All right, Aries. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. So you could be waiting on some news. You could be even waiting on something like a loan money, something like that, you know, something that you want to start like a business, something you've really been working towards. This even could be, you know, messages from family or somebody you're just waiting to hear from. But King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, the Hanged Man is saying that things are going to come to fruition. But with the Hanged Man, it's a slower energy. So a lot of abundance is coming, especially King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. It's a lot of success in your endeavors, but you need to really keep your mind free, set boundaries, stay in your lane, stay around positive people and keep going. But with the Hanged Man, again, like I said, this is an energy of letting go. It's like the saying says, let go, let God. It's just basically saying that there's a need to surrender here. Something is being weaved, okay? The universe is weaving its magic in the background, but it could just be taking longer than you had hoped. 
but this is really great. So I want to clarify that Four of Pentacles, then I'm going to move on to some Oracle cards. Okay, Four of Pentacles for Aries. All right, so yeah, we've got interesting now, King of Wands and the Empress. So I'm seeing this couple here. So, I mean, this could even be like a business partner. The King of Wands is someone who can be very warm and generous. It can be somebody who knows what they're doing. They offer a lot of guidance. Again, really great for like business, entrepreneur stuff. Um, the Empress Venus energy. So Taurus or Libra, this could be something you've really been wanting to work on. Or maybe you've just really wanted to feel comfortable in life and you've had to save, money's been a bit tight, but I feel like that's really about to change. All right, so I'm going to pull some oracle cards. So three cards, please, for Aries. All right, so we've got caregiver. So this could be something that you've been doing for quite some time. Wow, we've got Virgo energy. Maybe you were a caregiver. This could be involving a Virgo. Okay, we also have romantic. So this could be a romantic kind of energy as well. Take what resonates. For some of you, it could be a romantic situation. For others, it could be more business, family stuff. Um, all right, so I'm going to pull three cards from this deck. I want to see what else comes out. All right, so perspective, very important. Perspective is just like the hanged man energy. It could be gaining a different perspective. Maybe that's what's needed here. Wow, release attachment, just like the four of pentacles. This person is so attached, right? Be free of expectations, feel great about letting go, and <laughs> you got the let go card. Okay, longing gives vibe of not having. So just like this, let go. Trust the process, everything always works out, something better is on the horizon, total confidence in the universe. Inspired action, take the action when you feel the desire, follow intuition, synchronicity supported by the universe. We have observe, so take a step back, observe, just like the hanged man, not getting caught up in the story or details, total acceptance of what is, step back and see the bigger picture. So, so many really great messages here. Um, I love this energy, honestly, this reading is really great. Everything's really pulled together well, so I hope this resonates with you, and if it does, definitely let me know. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.